Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to create a new year filter, that is new year 2022 filter. So for that, we'll be creating a blank project. Let's start from scratch. So here I go. Uh, once my blank project gets open, I'll just go and increase the user experience then i integrate the camera so hi you can see me over here now what i'll do is i'll add rectangle over here because that's the main thing that we are going to do over here then we'll fill its width and height we'll add a material of this rectangle we'll change its shader type to flat and once we do it we'll first go to camera and extract the camera texture as well as the person segmentation because i want uh, the person segmentation over here so i'll go to its rectangle over here and in the alpha channel uh, in the texture i'll add the segmentation texture so it just came in front of me so i want it back so for that first let me go and extract the camera texture over here so yeah hi again and this is for the uh, camera texture so i'll just change its name to camera Cool. Now I'll create one more rectangle over here and similarly I'll add a material. First of all, let me fill it width and height, uh, change the shader type to flat and then what I'll do is in the alpha channel, I change it to segmentation and I'll drag this above the camera texture but now you can see but since uh, you can see somewhat white line over here but i'll change it to 1.02 to make it more visible if it's not then 1.12 so yeah you can see over here so let me go to the segmentation texture and make it a little bit less soft Now you can clearly see the white texture over me. Now what I'll do is I go to uh, the object, add a face tracker over here, and then in the face tracker, I'll add a plane over here. So where's the plane? Here's the plane. Uh, I'll add the material over here, change the shader type to flat. And then what I'll do is I'll just add texture over here. That is the new ear texture. I go to downloads. I'm having this new ear texture over here. And then I'll change its position. I'll rescale it a little bit upwards. And let me change it size over here a little bit. And now what we'll do is we'll right click over here, go in actions, animate, and we'll do it pulse. So now we can see it is looking good, but let's change it a little bit. 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.2, 1.2. So now it is looking quite cool. Uh, we'll go to assets library and go to the color alerts. I had a nice color alert effect over here. So we will see what we can add. Let's add this chrome effect over here. Import it. Once it's done, click it and go over here, right? Apply to camera. So now you can see the camera effect is the over here. But if I go backwards, you cannot see this because you have to go to plane and uncheck the depth effect over here. So now it works completely fine. So what you will do over here is let's add some config. But before that, let me go to, let's test another one. If it's looking good. So let's see. Yeah, it's looking really nice over here. So what I'll do is uh, let's add some particle system over here. So what I'll do is I'll change it to line and then let's change its uh, line to 0 0.32. And what we'll do is uh, we'll change its birth rate to 50. 50 looks good over here. Then what I'll do is I'll just change the speed angle to 180 degree. So it will go downwards. And then let's uh, change its speed to 0 
and this one too. Then let's click on warm up. So we want our effect to start 10 seconds before the uh, whole effects get started. I will spend it a little bit if you want. Uh, otherwise, it's okay. Then what we'll do is uh, we'll go to angular velocity and add 500 over here. 500 over here. 500 over xyz axis and it's for the degree one and the rotation we can make it a little bit rotate 500 and let's rotate to 500 now what i'll do is uh, i go to uh, downside we can find some rotation over here birth rate we did it 50 spray angle speed Let's change little bit scale. So 0.001. It's quite small. 0.002. Again, very small. And let's change it to 50. And then we will change the lifespan to 15. And what we will do is 0 0.005. So quite big. 0 0.00. 0.25. Oh, it is too big. So this is okay. Then spray angle is 15. Now what we'll do is we'll change it to little bit upwards. And what we can do is let's change its size a little bit. 0.03. So this is fine. Uh, we'll add a material over here. And let's change it to physically based. Let's change the color of it to a little bit gold. And then change it a little bit metallic. Okay, that looks cool. Let me change it to a little more yellowish tone. Okay, little bit. Fine. You can even change the blend mode to add or alpha, depends on you purely. And then what we could do is uh, we'll do a little bit of, uh, uh, we'll add a logic over here. Uh, let's add a face finder. With the face finder, we need to select the face that is currently we need uh, the first face that should be there. So once we add it over here, we'll add a smile patch. So if the user is going to smile, this confetti will appear. But before that, make sure that the particles in the advanced uh, render option, just check, uh, tick on the advanced uh, depth effect, uh, use depth effect because it won't affect it. And then what we'll do is go to emitter and extract its visibility over here. And then we'll just add over here. Now what happens is uh, if I just change to my camera and if I'm going to smile, this effect will just start over here. So if I change it to me, so you can see that if I stop smiling, it won't appear. Nice, so that was a simple cool effect for new ear. And if you want, you can change the rectangles color to be a little yellowish. So if it looks good, to you so you can definitely use it so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you have a great new year don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you so much bye bye